We slice perpendicular, perpendicular, and look, the slices are moving in the X direction. Like I, I typically only draw, you know, one slice, but there's many. That's why we're integrating because we're adding up infinitely many slices. Here's a slice right here. You could have another one a wee bit further down. It's going to look disgusting because it's going to get messy, so I'll erase it, but just you get the idea, yes? Okay, very good. Now notice here the slices are not solid all the way through. So I have a washer. I have a washer. Let me shade in the washer like so. Please make sure your graph makes sense, okay? <laughs> so the washer needs to be bounded on the outside by the outer function and on the inside by the inner function. Don't have it floating in open space. Don't, what is that? That's nothing, okay? Don't, don't draw such nonsense. And we already decided we're gonna integrate with respect to x. Okay, beautiful. Now in this case, we have to figure out what's big R, the outer radius, and little r, the inner radius. Because volume's gonna be, let's take the pi out, please. A to B, big R squared minus little r squared dx. All right, let me zoom in. I'm gonna draw 